Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Hope and we've got Rachel, but don't just sit there, Pickles. Let's do something new. That's us, let go. Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Hope, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> Who's coming home to Granny Money? Oh, it's Jack with Rudy. Hello there, Rudy. Hi, Hi Granny Money. Hello there, and Jack. Well done. Hey, there he is. <laughs> oh, my boy. Oh, that noisy wind certainly woke me up this morning, Granny Murray. Anyone would think it was windy inside as well as outside today. Oh, <laughs> oh here. Now Jack's here, we'll do something new. Why don't we dress Claude up ready for a windy day? <laughs> oh, now we can blow ourselves over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We've been making kites this morning, Rudy. Oh. Hey, this will have no trouble catching the wind. <laughs> well, I hope so. We're going for a windy walk later to try it out for real. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute, there's something missing. A kite won't sail without a tail. Oh, how could I have forgotten that? Oh, never mind. I'll do one now. <laughs> It'll be a windy day in the market today, Rudy. Oh, yeah, but thankfully, me spuds and cabbages won't blow away. <laughs> How's the tail for that kite coming along? Oh, yes, <laughs> All done. Oh, seems to have stuck. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm in a right mess now, Rudy. I'm in a terrible tangle. I can't seem to get it away. I think I'm going to have to tear my way out of this one. Oh, oh what a shame. All that hard work wasted. Oh, well, never mind. Sometimes it's better to go back to the beginning and start again. <laughs> right, I must fly, like your kite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Claude. You should see him, Rudy. He's got a lovely woolly hat and a big worn scarf. Very cosy, Claude. What's this, Jack? It's a kite for you. <gasps> for me? Yeah. Wow. It's a butterfly. That'll brighten up your market stall. What a fluttery brilliant idea. <laughs> <laughs> right, I will see you later, Jack. See you Come later. on then. Off I go, or shall I say, off I blow. Woo! <laughs> 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 I go <don't fight>. flying! <laughs> now remember, sometimes it's better to go back to the beginning and start again. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. I'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today. I'm walking me shoes through the city views. I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms. I get in there, it's just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know, but can you tell me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, roadworks. Hello, tram. Hello, sweeper. Hello, van. Do 
do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know I've got to get changed Oh, it's so windy! Jack's kite! Oh, what a noise! It sounds like the wind in a ship sail! I hope my awning doesn't blow away! <laughs> right! Got the clips! Ah! No! Too late! Help! Help, did you see? I'm here, Rudy. Tell me what to do! Raymond, grab the middle of the awning and pull! Blow! Blow the winter wind! <laughs> oh! Thanks, Raymond! Oh! I don't know what I'd have done without you! That was definitely a two-man job! No probs! Mustache! I can't be late for my morning shift on the train. <laughs> Aye, it doesn't pay to keep customers waiting. <laughs> oh, I hope Jack's kite survives the wind. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Ping, River Sea Ping, goodbye to sea. I love to skip in River Sea Ping, River Sea Ping, that's for me. Oh, there we are, darling. Bye bye. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Oh, I wish I was a fly in the wall to see Jack at nursery. to eat and the flowers in the early hours so when wake up comes it's there for you the market stalls are there to view oh the market the market what a wonderful place oh, the hub of the people the smiles on each face oh, the market the market Come look around, the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound. The colours all chaotic and spilling about. The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out. Objects to excite you and draw you near. The buying and the selling, cheap or dear. The market, the market, I just love to be there. The market. Is a wonderful place. Hello, Riddy. Hey, hey, and what's on the menu for you today, Dr. J? I'm making turnip soup. It's my specialty, and it's great for keeping you warm on a blustery day. Can I have um, a couple of onions, please? Right. A few leeks. And four potatoes, please. I'll be one potato, two potatoes. Three potato, four. And of course, a nice big turnip. Not a problem. I've got one right here. 
<laughs> Phew, that was close. Those bags nearly went flying again. <laughs> I'd best give you this one instead. <laughs> there you go, my last one. <laughs> Great. You better get cooking then, Doc. Yep, but first I'm going to take Samson for a run around up on the hill before lunch. Oh, that'll give you an appetite for your turnip soup. Oh, and while you're up there, you might run into Granny Murray and our Jack. I'll keep an eye out for them. Thanks for the veg. See you later, Doc. See you later. Oh, and they'll be easy to spot. Just look out for the kites. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, my case, Sam! Oh, <laughs> oh, it's getting windy, darlings. We're going to have great fun in the park, aren't we? Flying our kites. <laughs> Well, hello, Doctor Juno. Do you know what we're just saying? It's a windy day. Oh, yes, yes, Granny Murray, but it's great to blow away the cobwebs. <laughs> oh, yes, Jack, I love your kite. It's very colourful. I bet your dad would love a go. <laughs> Are you having fun, Daddy? I wonder how that young lad of mine's getting on. Oh, hi, Rizzy. Oh, I am chilled to the bone. What I really want is some more... I know what you want, Tina. Some turnip soup. How did you know that? I guess it's just the turnips have been very popular today. Ugh. In fact, I've just sold my last one. No, you haven't. There's one right here. No, Tina. Oh, really? Oh, all your paper bags have flown all over the place. That's exactly what happened this morning. Oh, quick, see if you can catch them for me. My bags are blowing all over the place. I can't serve any more customers now. And it's only two o'clock. Oh, where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop off Jack. It was very windy, so the children were making kites to fly later. They dressed Claude up really warmly for the windy day. Granny Murray made a kite too, but she got in a terrible tangle. At eight o'clock, I arrived at work and set up my market stall ready for the day. A gust of wind nearly blew away the awning, but Raymond helped me get it back in place. At ten o'clock, Bobby arrived, but the wind began to blow my paper bags away. Luckily, Bobby leapt and jumped and caught them all, and we weighed them down with a turnip. At eleven o'clock, Dr Juno came to buy ingredients for her special turnip soup. I nearly gave her the turnip on my paper bags, but then I remembered just in time and gave her the last one from my stall. At two o'clock, Tina arrived at my stall. She wanted turnips too. I told her I'd sold the last one, but she spotted the turnip holding down my paper bags and picked it up. The bags flew straight into the air and scattered far and wide. Tina chased after them, but they were flying everywhere. Now remember, sometimes it's better to go back to the beginning and start again. Sometimes it's better to go back to the beginning and start again. I'm so sorry, Rudy. All I could catch was this one. Is there anything else I can do to help? Yeah, maybe you can help me, Tina, because I need to go back to the beginning and start again. Come on, first off the bag factory to get some new bags. <laughs> <laughs> it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? His assurance for your friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do, I'm working for I'm gonna do it He's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song <laughs> All sorted, and the wind has died down too Now I seem to remember you wanted some vegetables Well, I was thinking about turnips for turnip soup But somehow I've gone off that idea <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you, turnips have turned out to be nothing but trouble today I couldn't agree more, so no turnip for me I'm going to make some soup from carrots One bag of carrots coming right up <laughs> Oh, <laughs> wonder what Jack's having for his tea tonight. Oh, Dr. Juno's turnip soup coming up <laughs> to warm us up after a windy day. Yes, 
My special turnip soup will soon warm everybody up. And all the vegetables came from your daddy's store, Jack. <laughs> <gasps> Look who's here, Jack! Yeah. <laughs> Give us a cuddle. Yeah! <laughs> Sounds like you've had a good time with Granny Murray. Yeah. Oh, we certainly did! <laughs> Say thank you to Granny Murray. Thank you! Oh, come on! What a great boy! <laughs> <laughs> and thanks loads from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes it's better to go back to the beginning and start again. And it saved the day. Oh, well, well. Come on, you two. You'll want to be off. <laughs> <laughs> come on, mate. I'm looking forward to next time. <laughs> Me too. Bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, begging, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in warm clothes, all nice and cosy. Then we walked all the way up the hill and flew the kites we'd made. Dr Juno was out with Samson and came to join us. At the market stall, Rudy was able to serve his customers again with brand new paper bags. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to go back to the beginning and start again. But now we've come to the end. Did you enjoy yourself? Me too. Bye bye, honey pie.